everybody. Uh, it's a real honor to be inducted into the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame and really special to be in a class with these great players, Chris Chelios, Gary Suter, and Keith Kachuk, all three of whom should have been flyers. <laughs> I'm very proud that I hired the other deserving inductee, Mike Emmerich, for our American Hockey League team at the time, the Maine Mariners. I then gave him his first NHL job as TV broadcaster for the Flyers. I'm still bummed out that we let the greatest hockey broadcaster ever get away. Mike, you're the best. I entered the league in 1966 when we were awarded the franchise in Philadelphia as one of the original six teams. The Hockey News voted us the least likely of the new teams to succeed. I can tell you that I'm really glad they were wrong because otherwise I wouldn't be here today. In fact, I'm the longest serving governor in the National Hockey League. We had six American players in the NHL in my first season. This year there are 216 players and I've seen that growth year after year. Today, Three U.S.-born players, James Van Riemsdyk, Matt Carl, and Sean Couturier, are currently on the Flyers roster. We are very, very proud that we had a hand in developing players also in our own backyard. Players such as Mike Richter. My only regret is we didn't draft him. Bobby Ryan, Mark Eaton, T. T.J. Brennan also are from the Philadelphia area and are currently playing in the NHL. None of these players and others from the area of playing juniors, college, and in the minor leagues would have been thinking of a hockey career if we hadn't started the Flyers in 1967. This is typical of other U.S. expansion teams and one of the reasons for the large influx of U.S. players. Paul Holmgren, who is here tonight, a terrific player for the Flyers and a terrific GM, is from St. Paul. Peter Laviolette, our coach, is from Massachusetts. As Gary Bettman said six years ago, I started a youth hockey program, I know it's been mentioned here a lot, for the inner city kids of Philadelphia. Three years ago, the city was going to close the rinks and we stepped in and said we would take over management of the rinks. We provide all the equipment, the ice time, the coaching, the education, totally free of charge for the kids. Last year, we entered into a 20-year deal with the city of Philadelphia, and we contributed $6.5 million to match a, a, a matching grant from the city and the state to enclose three of the rinks. They were, they were open-air rinks, somewhat dilapidated through neglect, now they are beautiful and magnificent. They've just opened in the last few weeks, and we're very proud of them. The kids are going to have ice 365 days a year, and we're taking them off the streets. We're helping them in school. We're teaching them life skills, and we have some, I'll tell you just one story, because there are many stories. When I first started the foundation, I got a letter from a young girl who said, before this foundation, I had no hope in life. And I decided to follow her through the rest of the years as she was in the program. She graduated high school. She got a scholarship to Westchester College. She's on the dean's list. She's on the hockey team. And she's a, a wonderful citizen of our city. And we've got a lot of stories like that. And I got to tell you, it makes me real proud. USA Hockey oversees this Hall of Fame and has done so many great things for our sport in the United States. Congratulations on the terrific job you're doing, and thanks again for this great honor. Mm -hmm.